I'm like a bird, I only fly away. I don't know where my soul is. I don't know where my home is. Baby, I'ma do right. I'm ain't this the wrong song? Anyway, she <laughs> it sounded okay. It sounded like it was right. <laughs> Who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. Who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. 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 Yeah, yeah. What's up, hood folks? This your boy Rashad. Hood folks, this Jeremy. <laughs> it, it, it is uh, Sunday afternoon. I got some drink in my cup. And I don't mean drink you get the kids. Say, say, say what you say. What? Dude! <laughs> kerosene, motherfucker. <laughs> it's kerosene in this cup. I haven't had any look hard look in so long. I got up the day and I said, I come for war. I come for violence. Yes, this is kerosene in this cup. Bring your heaters on, we can light them up. <laughs> damn, it's just like straight liquor hood, huh, folks. It's, you can taste a little bit of whatever um, drink he got with this, but it's just straight damn liquor. And I are. Uh, water for me today. Yes, water for me. Anyway, hood huh, folks, today is Sunday afternoon. The last time we had fast food was last Sunday afternoon, and that when we had Jack in the Box, because people say, I thought y'all was on lifestyle chain on the diet. Motherfucker, we don't know that stuff. We do what we want to do. We grow. Hell, I'm 75 years old, and you and your hummus. Bring it out. What you got? Anyway, hood folks, so we went to Urban Bird Hot Chicken. I really don't want no meat. I thought we were going to, you got me a vegetable, a vegetable platter? Yeah, God, Lee, feel how heavy that is. That's heavy. I think that's mine. What is this? Oh, what is this? Ooh, let's. That's an urban bird. Okay, and what is this? And this is just a regular mild tender basset. Did they put in this? Let's give them a close up view of this food. So what is this right here? So this is the Tendo basket, Basset. <laughs> it's two jumbo tenders. I got him the mild, cause they let you choose the uh, heat level. Okay. And I got you the mild. So two little tight ass tenders, some garlic bread. Toast, it's just toast, not garlic bread. And a little dipping sauce. Bird I'm, sauce. I'm a dicko. And the fries, this was 11.50. Damn, I could with the Popeye. I got a whole chick of two can die for nine ninety nine. Rip off. Rip now off. Get, get mine out. Alright, and this is what I got. It's the urban fry. Um it's two uh jumbo tenders chopped up with over a large bed of fries, bird sauce uh, all over it, and also topped with macaroni and cheese. Oh no. And three pickles. And this was twelve fifty. So it's, all it's, this stuff came up to be twenty six dollars and twenty five cents. It's heavy, but it sounds like a motherfucking rip off. Oh, let's get a thumbnail. Okay. All right, here, folks. Um, I'll be brutally honest with y'all. How that bird sauce say? This is for the bird. Mm -hmm. This ain't nothing but ketchup, ranch dressing, ketchup and ranch dressing. They would tell you like ketchup and ranch dressing together. Oh my God. So you go for. So I got the Nashville hot, the level Nashville hot, and this is kind of spicy here, folks. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But at least they did give me some pickles. They kind of calm, calm down the heat, but they didn't give me enough. Mm. But I um, I feel so good. <laughs> Y'all, I feel good today. Yesterday, Saturday was a terrible day. So many people were reaching out to me just 
had me feeling a certain kind of way. I don't want no meat, man. I mean, I'm gonna eat it, but I really don't. Just think of it as meatless. Make of it as boneless. Now they do have a meatless, um, like it's, it's, it's beyond chicken that you can subs it out for. And the only reason why I didn't do that this time is because this is my first time eating at this place. So I wanted to get the full experience. Mm -hmm. So I got the meat inside of it. And be honest with folks, this is good. This is real good. Well, let me get a real assessment. This chicken is not fresh. They say it's made to order. So it's not fresh. But it is seasoned good and it goes very well with the sauce. Um, the french fries, I like how they are. They look fresh to hot, real hot. Mm -hmm. But ain't nothing special. Uh, I don't think this food is worth the money. But at the same time, it's good. So I give it a solid 7.9 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, this macaroni, let me just taste it by itself. The macaroni, it just, it just tastes like they boiled the noodles, put a little season on it, some cheese seasoning, and then mix it up with cheese, made it, you know, cheese sauce. But it do bring out the rest of the platter. You want to try mine? You sure? This goddamn guy. This, who this rent dressing here? I want to get it rent dressing a little head. It's good. I'm serious. I just want It's good? Dude, why, why the fuck you drinking rent dressing? <laughs> God damn. I want a whole milkshake made up. Can you stop drinking that damn ranch dress? <laughs> yeah, bro. Just taste it. Taste it. You had to put them booger fingers in it. Well, damn. There is some good red. Uh-uh. But that ranch dress is hidden. Put a little bit on mine. Uh-uh. Didn't break that for me. But I will tell you this, though. They char for nickel. Yeah, they nickel and dime. You like to hear about that? It was 50 cent. Just a little bit. Damn, I, mm. not just on one side. Mm. Golly. Golly, I want McDonald's me McDonald's in this motherfucker. That's you. Call when Bashar be home, piece of plate. I said, man, give me some extra carrots or something. Damn. Y'all, I tell you, I don't want to see no more salad no more this year. I ate some of <laughs> salad this week. I'm sick of salad. Uh huh. Uh huh. Stay out my cup. <coughs> I ate some more salad this week. I don't want to see no more salad. I'm telling you, I don't want to see no more salad. Then Friday I made a, meat, a meatloaf for him, and I made some carrots and green beans. I ate a whole plate of carrots and green beans. So good. And that, <clears throat> that meatloaf, of course, is turkey. You got to say that. <clears throat> you got to say it's turkey. <clears throat> oh, God. So um, I ate that Friday. That meatloaf was good as hell. Them carrots was good. I had a big plate of carrots. I think I almost ate more than he did. And then I took something to work um, yesterday too and ate it. And it was seemed like it was even better because the season was marinated and it just, just, all of it was just better. That's what we should probably start doing, cooking food and let us, maybe we should meal prep. Do y'all meal prep? So hood folk, I'm feeling real good today. Like I said, it's Sunday. I ain't got nothing. Oh, they gave me some pickle. Oh, give them to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they gave me some pickle. Let me see. Let me make a damn. See, here go that macaroni here, folks. Boom. Boom. Get close to the camera. You gotta get to the camera. Get a big that mother. Get a big. That's the me? macaroni. It's, it's like a white sauce. Oh, a white macaroni? Yeah. That's that Michael Jackson macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> um. Y'all, I'm feeling lovely though. But like I said, it doesn't it doesn't have really much flavor in it, but I think it's the reason because they pair it like this. I think this is the um, they got the uh 
this um this platter right here, this urban fry uh, mac and cheese or whatever. You know, it comes with the chicken, the fries, uh, and seasoning or whatever. So that's why it, it pairs good with that. And then they have the uh, spike, uh, the hot Cheetos macaroni and cheese. So of course, it's adding more flavor to it. So that's why it's, I guess it's just like basic ass macaroni and cheese because it's not really you're not really eating it as is. Speaking of, I want me some damn turnip greens and cornbread. Golly, I want some fresh turnip greens. I'm finna go to the store and get me some of that. Damn, you know what I just realized? I'm dead, I'm hot. Them collard greens and cornbread. Yeah. You <laughs> Fantasia. I never heard That's that her album. song. You haven't ever heard that? It's, it's, it's maybe, I think, her second album. I think it came out on her second album. So we got an email earlier this week from one of our hood folks that watches us. And um, whew, I meant to talk about this on the vlog. We're gonna do it at the river. When was at the at the river? What is it? The golf. The, the ocean. <laughs> you better say golf. Don't say golf. Ugh. You mean golf? But um, they was like on one of y'all vlogs or some. Ask ask answer this for us or talk about this on one of y'all vlogs. Oh shit! Now the ladies say that her and her husband been together for. A minute and <laughs> I'm paraphrasing I'm trying to remember they've been together for a minute and they made friends with another couple but they finances are not that are not there they ain't got it like that financially they just have enough to pay bills they ain't got it like that they made friends with this other couple and they got it like that and they want to take trip. They want to go shopping. You know, go out to eat a lot and stuff. And they like, well, we don't go out to eat much because we ain't got the money to pay for that. But they're, they're friends with some money. They, I gotta start looking at myself. I'm gonna start looking at myself, y'all, because I be wasting food all in my beer. The friends with the money agreed to, you know, like, well, don't worry about. It. We'll take care of the tab. They'll pick up the tab. And they advice, they asking me, what do we think? Have we ever been in a situation like that? Or uh, would we let our friends that have money pick up the tab for us and you know pay for trips, pay for dinners and stuff? Look, you gotta know who you're dealing with, you gotta watch your back. I give y'all a story time to happen to us. <laughs> 2013, we went balling like this in 2013. All this money we got now. <laughs> <laughs> All the riches and glories we got now. But now, in 2013, yeah, look, we was doing kind of, you know, we were struggling. We were extra. We, we struggling today, but in 2013, 10 years ago, we were extra most best of struggling. So we had became friends with with this other couple, and they was they had money too, and they was always want them, you know, let's go out here and try this restaurant out, Jeremy. And I will always blame it with man. You know, I got the lap band. I can't, you know, I can't go to the restaurants mm -hmm. and stuff. But that one, it, I couldn't just afford it. We had no money. But they was like, well, we got y'all. We got y'all. So I'm like, whatever. So one time, I thought he was going to park him beside us. I was going to pull the gun. Oh. Right, so one time he told us, let's go to the Windstar Casino. Uh-huh. They, so they was like, yeah, y'all come around to the Windstar Casino. I said, man, I love, man. We, we, I, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, man. We we ain't got no money to spend it. Cause oh hell, Jim. I got y'all, don't worry about it. So he gave us a hundred dollars a piece. They gave us a hundred dollars a piece. I was like, damn. You know how we saw it. He'd be all excited because somebody gave him some money. Hey, I did a little good that night. Wait, what you talking about? Cause this video finna go from left to right on your head. I'm talking about the money that I played and the money that I won. Oh, anyway, so we went to the casino. We played hundred dollars. We had a good time at Winstock Casino. They don't give you drinks like liquor. They give you Pepsi and Sprite. They kind of drink for free. But they were buying those drinks. We were just having a good time. I was in the shop. I don't know, man. This is this is like kind of weird. But they weren't making no kind of passes at us. They won't you know, they weren't giving us no energy like that. I was being myself, cutting up and clowning, cutting and clowning and clowning, cutting up. Then we got back to Dallas. We went either, what the restaurant we ate on Technology Boulevard? Technology. I remember Technology Boulevard. You know, down there, I was 35. What name the restaurant we went to? I'm trying to figure out what it was. But anyway, they had bought us some food. I think it was Papa. It wasn't Papa, though. It was it Papa? It was Papa. Papa Cito's Cantina, a Mexican place. 
Was it it? Was it? I think so. But anyway, they had bought us food, and then we went out to uh, to the JR to the bar, buying more drinks. I was like, this is cool. And then after the night, we was like, man, y'all really showed out. I appreciate this so much, man. I appreciate that for real, for real. Now, we they, well, we, we was like, well, we finna go home, man. We'll get up next weekend. We'll do something next weekend. They're like, man, you don't gotta go. What y'all finna do? We can go hang out at my crib. We got some old looking stuff. I was like, okay, we'll. Uh, Rashad like, let's go. We ain't got nothing to do. I'm like, man, I'm ready to go home. Cause we been with these folks all day. Oh, yeah, about uh, oh, nine, day. I'm like, nine, ten hours shift. I'm ready to go. <laughs> but he wanted to go hang out at the house, so we went up to the house. The guy, they were pulling out different liquors and stuff. I like, they got a nice house. I can't wait to get me a house one day. Next thing I know, we had two big, long, uncut, uncircumcised <laughs> dicks in our face. So I'm like, shit, y'all want to eat some dick? Eat. <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> eat. Oh, my God. No. What the fuck? And they're like, man, come on, man. Shit, let's all have some fun. We want to have some fun. I'm like, uh-uh, I don't want to eat that. I can't stand here nobody say eat no D. What the fuck? Eat. I believe somebody else in the car probably would have ate if I wasn't there. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I am. <laughs> but the moral of the story is they was a couple that wanted to like get down the swing. Now, I know y'all know our history and stuff. But if me and you have developed a friendship, I don't never want to cross it with going there. I'm never going there with you. If you, if, if me and you have developed that we're going to be friends, I'm never crossing that path with you. It don't matter how certain I am. I'm not. I know I don't want to do it. Did you want to do it? No. Uh-uh. That no don't seem convinced. Do y'all? That's no thing. That was like pipes running under a damn... Um... Okay, I don't want to come out there. I'm trying to eat on with your thumb. I don't know why I'm getting your thumb. No. But, no. I, I love my voice. What the fuck that mean? But anyway, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to get down with them because we had been hanging out and we ain't been saying nothing sexual. We ain't been throwing no sexual jokes. Mm -hmm. We ain't been saying nothing to them. We ain't told them nothing about our personal life. You know, like we told y'all. We ain't said, we ain't made no indication of that. And plus, these were like pretty boys. And we, and we was like, well, they don't want up. And so, so when, when that went, when that didn't go right, then they're like, oh, we can just chill then. You're going to use this. Thank you. Oh, uh, anyway, they were like, well, we can just chill then. So we stayed up about another 30 minutes. And then we like, well, we finna roll out. We never hung out again. But so to answer that question to her, you need to know who you dealing with. You need to know the motives and stuff because people be having, what is it, alternative motives? Yeah. You need to know what you're getting into. So I will, I know some people be like, yeah, I take that free stuff. Mm, I'm not willing to take no free stuff. It's just like when a woman is at the bar chilling and a man say, hey, let me buy you a drink. you like, yeah, give me a drink. And then he buy you another drink. And then now he want to dance. He wants your phone number. He want to go out. He want to have... I'm not willing to take no free gifts like that. Yeah, because this is what I say from the get-go. No matter what kind... If, if you a uh, 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 gay male couple or a bi male couple... And you hanging out with yeah or straight, you guys y'all just have to watch out because and or or state, you know or state your or I, not state but like just say it up front like your intentions your intentions and make sure you know you you getting the right um you know the right responses because them buying you all that stuff they looking they looking like okay what can we get out of this couple and like in our situation so yeah just watch yourself make sure you know. When it comes to that point, let them know. I'm not interested. Let me have a spoon of that. Somebody, somebody said in the comments that, well, I don't see how Rashad be sitting there eating food and Jeremy just be uh -uh, looking. put my pickle down. Be looking at the food. I don't be looking at the food, I'm looking at him. But if I want to eat his food, I can eat his food and his groceries if I wanted to. Nah, don't worry about what I'm doing over here. Give me my damn drink shit. Yeah, you need to drink. God, me, I don't want none of that. I don't like no macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I don't want none of that shit. I don't yeah. want none. I don't want none. Just the look of that, that don't even sign right. Macaroni and cheese and french fry together, that just don't even sign. I don't want hey, none. It's good. I don't want none. That's why I told you, I get this at eight. <laughs> this is good. This bread is trash. It's terrible. It's not good. It's burnt up on this side and raw on this side. Look at that. Burnt up. This is like an ass. Inside of the ass is 
this gonna look to you turn this. <laughs> I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating. You can eat. Come eat this. Thing. <laughs> ah! uh. It's some of the stuff that people say. Sexually, that's a turn off. Like this, uh, uh, this, uh, this is so this such a turn off. And I'm gonna tell you another thing that's a turn off. And he called me this the other day, and I was just so weirded out. I got up, I had came, I was in there getting some breakfast together. He got in bed. Good morning, daddy. I'm like, daddy, who your daddy? Ugh. I don't want to think about nobody, no daddy and mama in no relationship. That just sound like. Ugh. And I did it purposely, huh, folks, just to see what he would say. And I'm like, what? No, I don't want to be called your. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your father. I'm not claiming you on taxes. And, mm -mm -mm. So you don't. So you're not big daddy. I feel violated. I'm finna call police on you. Come on, big daddy. Hey, mama. <laughs> fuck. Also today, I feel good as fuck. Oh, oh, am I through eating? You through? Oh, I'm not. Well, I'm through. I'm I'm I'll leave. I'm gonna say that for you, cause I don't. I don't want no more meat. I really ain't into meat like that, y'all. With me, again, for the how they say it, say it for the ones in the back. Hey, babe. When it come to meat, it's a hit and miss. Most days I don't want no meat. Then some days I can tolerate it. Like them fish tacos I made the other day, they were so damn good. Even though they look rough. The last one wasn't rough though. Did y'all even watch the end of the video? The one where he put the fish in the air fryer. It, the next time I cook that, I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. I think air fryer is better than the cast iron skillet. I'm done. You are. Oh my God. I also saw the damn the shade room because you know we gotta do some you know we gotta do, we gotta put some triggering in here. I saw in the shade room that this lady was on an airplane mm. and she was sitting next to a, um, a man and she read his text messages and he had wrote some real racial on there about her and he had said some foul things about her you know. He hoped the airline raised the ticket prices up so they can't afford tickets and all this kind of stuff. All that, right? <clears throat> and then she confronted him. You know, she went off on him and confronted him about doing that. And then in the comments, a lot of people were on her side. Now, I'm not... The stuff that she said to him, I'm not opposed to that. But the only thing I'm opposed to is I don't agree with it. And I didn't see a lot of people uh, on my side. If a person is sitting next to me on an airplane, in a car, at the restaurant, whatever, and they talking about me on their phone, I have I shouldn't have no opinion about that. Because when you're on your phone, you can say anything about somebody on your phone. You know, you don't, I didn't agree with that part right there. Because it's your privacy. Yeah, so she, to me, she violated his privacy, even though he was talking about her. To me, I think she shouldn't have said nothing, in my opinion. Did y'all see this post? It's on the shade room right now, but I don't think she shouldn't have said nothing because that's his phone. What you think? Um, it goes two ways. I mean, if <sighs> now if you are uh, having your phone out in the open and you know letting her see it, that's a different story. Maybe he was letting her see the way he was texting. You think so? Maybe I so. I don't think so. And in that case, yeah, she did have a right to say something about it. But if he was just on his phone and she was just being nosy. <laughs> but she was sitting next to him. Yeah, exactly. If she was being nosy. I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't have said anything. I would have just wrote on my phone like, man, I bet you if, um, I bet you if this uh, airplane had a sunroof, this motherfucker would uh, melt. Uh, you know, I say, if this, this white guy next to me, oh, his skin looks so bad, look like um, a pig skin or something like that. You know, I would have just let him read my text message what I'm texting. But other than that, I wouldn't have came out and said anything because, like I said, that's his phone, his privacy. You right. know, so, um, I mean, it, it can go both ways. It, you know, people have their opinions. That's what they are. They are opinions. You don't have to go, you don't have to listen to their opinions or agree with their opinions. Like, you, nobody has to agree with your opinions. So, um, that's what I think that, yeah, that's his privacy, that's his phone. If he wasn't intending on her saying it, she shouldn't have said anything. That's just like this one time I was at work and this, these people was at the lunch table next to me and they were talking, they were talking about sex toys and they was just talking, just 
they was in their in-house voice. And they was amongst themselves talking. And I wasn't paying them no attention, but I was hearing what they were talking about. But I wasn't paying no attention because I was texting him, of course. And one of our other coworkers happened to be at the drink machine up there. And she heard heard it. And she gonna talk about this ain't nowhere for this kind of conversation. And they went off on her because they, number one, they were talking low. They weren't talking loud. They weren't, they always at the table in agreeance and they were talking low. You had to literally go out your way to even hear what they were saying. Right. Just like the woman on the plane. She had to literally go out her way and look over and look down and read, you know. Even though he was talking about her, she had to go out her way to see. But when they went off on her, I was laughing at them, how they were going off on her. And she tried to go to the supervisor and then I'm like, she should sit down with that hat on her head, that like a hat weed. <laughs> I know exactly who you're talking about because uh -uh. you used to always talk about it. I, can't, I don't like people like that. If you want to live alone, mind your own. That's true. Mind your business. Mind your own fucking business. Why you think white women don't be surviving a scary movie? Because they be too busy being nose of what's going on. Oh, is that an axe in my head? Yes, you did. <laughs> 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 ah! Oh, oh, shit. oh, so hot. I'm so hot, uh, I'm hot, man. I know, now, I, I didn't go all out my way for this, but when I was at work the other night, it was a police chase. Uh, it was, it was, it wasn't long or whatever, but the only thing I seen, I seen a car flying up, flying up the street. About 10 seconds later, one, you can hear the sirens in the background, one cop, two cop, three cop, four cop, five. It was like seven cops chasing their ass. So then they looped around the whole damn block and came back on the other side. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then all of a sudden, they tried, the car tried to turn down into uh, to the little street. And then you just see a cop car just ramming. And then all of a sudden, three folks jumped out the back, um, two out the back, one out the front, and they started running. And I guess they caught them, but I don't know. I'm looking at that shit like, what the hell? I was like, damn, I'm glad it wasn't a lot closer. But um, I was minding my own at that point, but I just started worrying about my safety. Right. You know, so. Hey, I'm so ready for winter time. This cup right here reminds me of winter time. Kerosene is for heaters, cause the heater is for winter time. I wish I could just go from my birthday straight to winter. I don't wanna. Can you drive? Yeah, I can drive you crazy. <laughs> ah, look at that dude right there. <laughs> he got a nice shape though. I wouldn't want them, but that's a nice shape. Go them on. Them shoes are busting out, though. Them busting. Hey, let that man shoot. like yeast rolls. <laughs> <laughs> let that man shoot lean. Let, let that man alone. Let that but man anyway, my, you say mine lean from the, uh, what? The I middle? Was, Rashad, the, the only person I know shoe that lean in the middle. Like, he got a you and his shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's right, but okay. Oh, and one more thing I want to address to people. People think that I am ashamed to be out in public with Rashad, kissing, touching, holding hands and stuff. And for all of y'all, for all of y'all that think that I'm ashamed, you that no, I'm just playing. Ain't no shame. I'm not ashamed. It's just that I don't like PDA. If I if Rashad was a woman, Rashida, I still don't want to sit up and hold. That seems weird. <laughs> and I cannot stand. I'm gonna tell you what I can't stand. I can't stand when I go to restaurants and it's and the couples sit on the same side of the booth. They get on my damn nerve. And I can't That's love. I can't stand it. I don't like PDA from nobody. It, it no uh, man, man, woman, 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 man. I hate PDA because especially when it's forced. And I know, especially in this in the alphabet soup community, they definitely force it. They'll ride in the whole car together, don't touch each other, don't talk to each other, nothing. But as soon as they get out of public, uh huh. And we are in a busy parking lot now. It's like people driving by here and people park right here. But I, I no. What y'all fail to realize on our channel is we this channel is based around keeping it real but also a lot of sarcasm. Uh -huh. And we do a lot of sarcastic stuff, but y'all be killing the joke because y'all be literally logically thinking we for real and it's a joke. 
But no, I'm not ashamed of nothing. I'm grown. How can I tell people, never let those who do the least for you control the most of you? How can I sell y'all a shirt like that and talk like that and I'm ashamed? No. I have no shame in my game by nothing. If I did, I'd be getting a haircut every Friday. I'd be spending all my money buying all the overpriced clothes and press y'all. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't got no money. I'm just... <clears throat> ain't got no money, Ugh. ain't got no fancy car, but I got my drink. Do you want to drink? Yes, I want to drink. Do you want to drink? Yes, I want to drink. Jesus is the drink. Why I come up Jesus? Why I pray to Jesus in this? I'm saying, Dottie people, look at me. Dottie people, my favorite singer. I'm saying, Dottie people. Anyway, Rashad, we're going to end the video call. We're going to see it probably about another 30 minutes of laughing people. Oh, and I'm going to drink this up. But I ain't going to hold y'all no longer. Yes. If you got this far in the video, shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for watching. What else you got to tell the man? Uh, folks, like comment subscribe and press that ugly ass bell button to get notified when i will put up new content on this page also attached to our profile our our youtube page we have our instagram information you can hit us up on instagram as well jeremy don't answer his messages so i don't and don't but don't come on my instagram complaining about me talking about pro black issues because i don't kiss up to nobody of no race but don't come on my Instagram talking about, oh, I thought you were going to be making jokes. And don't come on my page thinking we're going to be talking about LGB. I don't care about that either. I don't hate nobody, but I'm not in, I'm not an activist for that community at all. I'm more concerned about blackness over anything. And I like to crack jokes. So don't come on there. And then number one, and also, don't come on there talking about custom mud. You can kiss my motherfucking ass. Yes, I said it just like that. Cuss word. I cuss on my page. I ain't. I don't make video for kids. Fuck the kids and you too. If you got a problem with it too. Okay. I'm you know through. them kids when they grow up, they hear you saying that. When they grow up, they gonna look for your ass and your old I, ass gonna get your ass whooped. I ain't stumbling. Them kids like I ain't no kids now. <laughs> I ain't stumbling them big long matching head ass kid. Fuck the black leg kid. Anyway, hood huh, folks. That's it. We'll I catch y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> you so fucking retarded. I swear.